Nice to meet you. I'm Gina, Gina Goosby. I recently graduated from Swarthmore College. Um, I was a participant in KCJS 30, that was 2018 to 2019. Um, and I was a Japanese major and a computer science minor. Ooh, KCJS Japanese classes were definitely worth two credits, I'll say that. Um, I thought that my Japanese classes at Swarthmore were hard because they had, you know, homework every day, like any good language class. Uh, and they had, you know, listening and writing and speaking. So I thought I was pretty well prepared for KCJS. I was, I was, I was decently prepared. Uh, KCJS Japanese classes are a lot of work, a lot of work. Uh, but I say that with the utmost love, affection, and appreciation because my Japanese improved triple or like quadruple in the time that I was in KCJS. My mom was super surprised. My mom is a native speaker of Japanese. Um, and she was surprised when I talked to her on the phone in Japanese because she was like, when did your Japanese get so good? It can't just be from you living there. Like it's too good. It's, it got, it's gotten too good too fast. Um, like we have a really like robust set of curriculum. Um, so we have, you know, readings that we'll go through and we'll have like a passage that we um, go through in parts uh, throughout the week. We'll have daily, daily kanji quizzes and kanji tests. Um, we'll have multimedia stuff as well. So we'll watch like short clips or parts of the news. Um, we'll even like watch a movie throughout the semester, which is super awesome. Um, and of course, talk about those in Japanese. I think one of my favorite things about the class um, is just my favorite thing. We have hanashiai, which is like a discussion. And so one student or every student will like come up with like a discussion topic and be able to facilitate a discussion on that throughout the semester. Um, I think it's once or twice per student per semester, depending on the class size. Um, I don't remember what I presented on, um, but essentially you figure out your topic, you think of some guiding questions and you're able to just you know, sort of lead the class and your teacher in a discussion of this topic. And to be able to, um, sort of do the sort of work that I would be doing in college because I facilitate discussion in classes all the time, right? But in Japanese and still at a college level, in Japanese, it, was, it just completely blew my mind. It was like nothing I'd ever experienced at Swarthmore. Um, and it was, I mean, it was a lot of work and there were nights that I stayed up kind of late doing homework, but I loved every single minute of it. For my, for, my, for my bachelor's thesis, I actually wrote um, about um, this novel that we actually read in one of my KCJS class, my KCJS Japanese class called Yuhi. Um, it's by a woman of Korean descent who was born in Japan. Um, there's some colonial history between Korea and Japan. You should really research it. It's really uh, interesting is, I need a more particular word for it, but I'll say interesting for now. Um, and so she struggles with going from her hometown of Japan, her hometown in Japan to Korea to learn more about her roots and her heritage and realizes that just being Korean by blood and speaking a little bit of Korean will not make her automatically accepted. And she has a crazy identity crisis over it. And uh, actually my mom being a Korean from Japan myself, uh, I thought it was just super fascinating. I connected with her on so many levels. And so I drew on that book for my thesis and I ended up writing it about um, the experience of people in diaspora, uh, that is, like, communities are sort of forcibly relocated from their homeland, um, and how that can play into identity and culture when you try to reconnect with your homeland. So it was a really, really interesting thesis to write.